Does your child also cycle to school in such safe conditions? Let's have a look in Rotterdam. Auto, boom, that was precies waar het om gaat. Kijk. Before I go out on my bike, I always do extensive research into all the policies, reports and data. The most important conclusion is that every day there are 480,000 individual driving movements of cars in and out of the city. We'll now zoom in into the northeastern side of Rotterdam to see the effect of all of those movements in the streets. Within Rotterdam there are about 560,000 cycle journeys every day. This area contains about 70 primary schools and 38 secondary schools, with 50,000 children who ride their bike to school each day. We'll have a closer look at the Rudolf Steiner College, the Talma School and the Talma After School Care, which are all situated on the same block. This situation is typical for many other schools in the north of Rotterdam. Look, this is what I mean, a double lorry in the middle of rush hour, which will drive through here while the entrance of the school is just past there. There's a crossing just a bit further down. So you have to cross here to get to the school over there. So they cross here to go straight over and look, that car, boom! That's exactly what this is about. And that's what has happened here several times already. Look, here we go again. Have a look at those children back there. They have to safely cross between all of this. Watch this. This car won't stop and it's, it's nearly impossible. So just look how dangerous this is, how scared those people are to cross the road. And now I turn left onto the Rusthof Lahn, which is a one-way street with a speed limit of 50 kilometers an hour. So this is what cycling is like in Rotterdam to get to school. Just look at this. This is what we think is a good way of doing things. So normally the cyclists have to get through here. Most children come to the Rudolf Steiner College from the west, using the Kroosweikseweg, which is a two-way street that's also part of a regular bus route. So that child tries to move to the left here. These are cars of children who are being dropped off at school. And just look at this. This car wants to go to the right. What the hell? The children can't go anywhere, so all these go onto the pavement here because they're fed up with the traffic. So many bike accidents. Look, there's a car driver and a car behind who want to go right and left and they nearly hit a cyclist. Now let's have a look at the situation for the children coming from the southwest via the Piperstraat and the Kroosweikseweg. Double lorries, cars everywhere, and the children have to try to get to school behind there. So that's what we have to do to try and cross safely. Look, that boy just blasts through, and the traffic over there is queuing up again. This cyclist has the right of way over this van, but now have a good look at how he is nearly hit three seconds later by the black car going straight ahead. We continue on the Piperstraat, where we will see how the public transport gets stuck in car traffic and that there's barely any space to cycle safely at all. This really fills me with confidence having to cycle here. Wow, and I have to try and cycle safely to school through this? Just how am I supposed to do that? This is a really great system. And then they wonder why the tram system doesn't work that well. This is typical for Rotterdam. You just have to try and impose your right of way. Often one parent goes and stands in the middle of the road to sort of stop the cars and let some children cross. 
Copenhagen. When we zoom out again and have another look at all of the schools on the north side of Rotterdam, we see those kinds of crossings and these kinds of problems on nearly every block. Which begs the question, is it really that useful to continue to have 480,000 individual car movements between 7.45am and 9am? Because that is the core of the problem for both the cyclist, for whom it creates a lot of danger, and the public transport system, the tram system, which simply gets stuck.